Something of an underdog down here that we've been doing our thing for a while and doing it strong. It's just a little biographic point to my life down here in Tallahassee. I didn't grow up easy. I grew up poor. I grew up hard. I'm not a schoolboy. I went to that hard not school. I've been out here doing my thing for a while. Get a lot of love and support from my folks down here. Very appreciative of that. And as I said before, this is just a small glimpse into what life is like for me down here in Tallahassee. Check me out. I've been blacking out, acting out, going through these ups and downs, in and out of trouble, gotta hustle, cause I struggle for these little pennies, sipping handy while I'm getting good and ready to make the next move, got plenty of people coming with me. Grew up on the northwest side of town, a little neighborhood called Lakewood Village, a very mixed neighborhood, was more white, more black, a little bit of everything. I worked gangbangers in my neighborhood growing up. A lot of them cats now are down for the count, doing life or death. I lost my homie Andrew a couple years ago. He got shot up in the street and died, and he rest in peace. I've known a couple other cats that are, that are not with us anymore. I don't glorify gang life. I'm not a gangster. In fact, I would advise anyone to stay away from that. That's not the message in my music. I guess you could say the main message of my music is to live life to the fullest and treat others as you want to be treated. And do good as much as possible. Although I am human and I'm prone to do wrong, I try to do as much right as possible. Whenever given the opportunity. This society is all a bunch of rhetoric and that's commit these politicians preach these values they don't even meddle I guess you could call me a conscious rapper. I talk about a lot of things that are conscious. I think it's very important in this day and age to speak on such matters in this world where everyone is so lost, self-centered, doing so many things that can just deplete their soul put them in a dark place in this movement. It's things like that that are glorified nowadays in music and show business. And I try to really dig into the, the grit behind the scenes of the music and talk about some real world stuff and a lot of the things I do.